think nobody would argue with the idea that Ukraine deserves an association agreement down the road, like a roadmap for EU entry, for example. But, but I, I suppose my real question to you is, is why w surely it is in the EU's best interests to wait until Ukraine is more reformed than it even is now? Well, first of all, in order to reply on your question, I would like to tell that this agreement for us is not, as a, 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 not, is not a gift. Mm -hmm. This is a real roadmap of a very painful but systemic and very important reforms for my country. This is also about values. So, of course, if you would like to take some pause, or to take some time, it will be your sovereign decision. But you should put a question whether, I mean, both sides will be a winner in this kind of situation. So for, the, for us, this agreement, this is a, a, a from the even a geopolitical and strategic point of view, is uh, as significant as the fall of the Berlin Wall for Germany in uh, early 90s. So that's why we are very much eager to sign this agreement as soon as possible and the, the, the most convenient date, the 29th of November this year in Vilnius. This is something the EU wants as well, by and large. But Russia, of course, has had a lot to say on this particular issue. Um, it has used a number of carrots and sticks to try to persuade or coerce Ukraine into not signing an association agreement if it is offered. So, if an association agreement is offered and signed in Vilnius in November, what do you think the likely Russian reaction will be and how much does it matter? Well, first of all, uh, Ukrainian uh, authorities, Ukrainian society, everybody in Ukraine uh, already made its own choice, which is to sign this uh, strategic treaty. Uh, and I would like to remind you that this important and official uh, decision uh, has been taken under the huge pressures, to some extent even intimidations, from the, from the outside. But we, would, we don't understand what at stake. For us, what at stake, this is the values. And these values are not, not for sale. So that's why uh, currently we are determined to, uh, to do our best in order to engage in a constructive and pragmatic dialogue with our big uh, partner and big neighbor, which is the Russian Federation. We would like just uh, to make the utmost in order to, uh, to try to adapt uh, Ukrainian-Russian relations to the post vilnius realities. And Russia should understand this. Uh, at the same time, we do believe that this agreement will be of beneficial importance for, for, the, for our neighbor in terms of, in terms of uh, consolidating democracy and ensuring uh, 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 mutually beneficial uh, trade between two partners. Uh, we, we do understand that uh, Russians currently are a little bit irritated by our aspiration to sign this seminal treaty. At the same time, recently we, we uh, suggested the idea to uh, establish or to set up a trilateral format of dialogue. I mean, uh, Ukraine, the European Union and the Russian Federation. And uh, in the course of this dialogue, to try to persuade our Russian colleague that this agreement uh, will uh, bring a lot of benefits to the Russian people, firstly, and secondly, that this agreement will not uh, be detrimental for the Russian uh, trade and economic interest. Uh, but I would like once again to underline, we would like to have constructive and mutually beneficial dialogue and cooperation with our big neighbor. Uh, but once again, a choice uh, has been made by Ukrainian side, this choice is irreversible. This is the point of no return. Whether you like or dislike, we need to sign this agreement. At the same time, a lot of things depend from the EU position in this respect. Whether EU will, uh, will uh, show its consolidated, uh, well-coordinated approach vis-a-vis -vis the Russian Federation. Whether this is the case, uh, I have some doubts, to be frank. But uh, once again, we are working hard we are currently in order to have a constructive dialogue with our Russian friends.